Peter Thomas Fornital back with you for the Breeders' Cup and in the Money Media. We've got win and you're in action. A couple of win and you're in races actually coming up in France over the course of the next week or so to try to learn more about these races and maybe even find us a winner. I've reached out to my colleague from Sky Sports Racing over uh, in the UK and internationally. Uh, she is Catherine Ford. Catherine, how are things? Hi, Peter. Things are great. Thanks. Uh, I'm based in France and I'm uh, heading up to Deauville this weekend for the uh, third Sunday of the uh, Deauville August meeting. And of course, the highlight's going to be the uh, Prix uh, Arad de Freinet le Bouffard, Jacques Lemarois, uh, which, as you say, is a Breeders' Cup winner. And you're in a really exciting race in perspective. I'd love to talk about this race in terms of its historical perspective. I know it has been a key pointer at times for Breeders' Cup mile success, but it has a pretty rich history on, on its own. Give us a little bit of that background. Yeah, absolutely. It's a race that's um, benefited from the uh, support of the Ara de Freinet le Buffard, the Niarcos family of Flaxman Stables uh, breeding arm, um, which have supported it for many decades now. And you go back looking at the uh, the role of honour of the race, you see some great horses and notably some that have gone on uh, and shone in the Breeders' Cup, horses like Miesque, uh, Spinning Worlds, uh, Sp uh, Six Perfections, uh, the great to the legendary Goldie Cova, of course. And then uh, just as recently as last year with the In Spiral, who uh, uh, didn't run in the Breeders' Cup mile, but uh, she won the Breeders' Cup for Liam Turf for the Gosdens and uh, and the legendary Frankie de Tory as well. So it is, it's a great race. It's, uh, I would say, the feature of the um, August meeting in Deauville. It's worth a million euros over the straight mile at Deauville. So a really iconic moment uh, in the middle of the month and uh, always gets a good crowd and a high class field. Let's start with In Spiral. What's been going on with her this year? And do we expect to see the In Spiral uh, of old turn up in, in Deauville this weekend? Well, it's very difficult to say, Peter, what's been going on with her this year. She's a five-year-old, of course, now. She's a six-time Group 1 winner, so uh, doesn't have anything left to prove. She's a dual winner of the Jacques Lemarois. Uh, interestingly, there have been four dual winners of the race in the past uh, um, in Spiral. Her, well, also trained by the Gosden's Palace Pier, Miesque and Spinning World. There's never been a three-time winner, so she's trying to go into history. Um, she's lost, of course, uh, her partner in crime, Frankie de Tori, who uh, uh, rode her during her her previous years before he re relocated to the US. And um, she's just been a little bit underwhelming this season. She made her seasonal debut in the lock inge and was kind of always behind that day. Um, the Gosden said afterwards that she maybe wasn't 100% fit for a mile over against top class uh, male um, rivals. Uh, then she ran in, Ro in Royal Ascot in the Prince of Wales Stakes. She was a little bit slowly away, but just never really looked like she was going to get on terms in what was a top class a renewal of the Prince of Wales Stakes, won by Auguste Rodin, another Breeders' Cup uh, uh, hero in the past. So it's difficult to know. They've taken off uh, Kieran Schumach, who's the uh, number one rider for the Gosden Stable uh, this year, and put Ryan Moore on, uh, saying that a new pair of hands might be able to get a tune out of her. Um, it's just so difficult to know what's going to happen. I mean, she's been supremely successful at uh, at Deauville in the past, a dual winner, as I said, on this uh, straight track, which, uh, you know, the, the habit and the knowledge of the track will be an advantage to Ryan Moore if anyone could do the job, but he will be able to. Um, but um, I'm just slightly doubtful as to whether or not she's still got the will and um you know maybe it was old the magic of uh, frankie's uh, magic hands that uh, that got it out of her last year it, she's so great but it should be tough to trust from a wagering point of view there's some other horses in here who could also uh, very likely go on to to breeders cup uh, mile uh, attempt or another race at the breeders cup who do you see as the key contenders in this race well, the horse I like, Peter, is a horse called Sharin, uh, carries the um, blue and yellow colours of uh, Nerlan Bizakov, who had a fantastic weekend in Dover last weekend, uh, winning the Group 1 with Lazat and also um, a Group 3 winner with um, with Ramadan, both of those for his breeding operation, Sumbi, as well. Uh, now, Nerlan Bizakov, uh, he's from uh, Kazakhstan. He's been involved in racing for about uh, a dozen years now, and he's a very ambitious man. So I would think that if Sharin... Uh, had the credentials to go on for the Breeders' Cup. He's also trained by Roger Varian, who is, has an international profile. I would say that it would be possible. I mean, I haven't spoken to Connections about this, but he would be a horse that uh, would be 
potentially competitive on an international scene. And Sharin, he's a four-year-old. He just seems to be at his very best this season. He showed at Royal Ascot in the Queen Anne Stakes that the um, straight mile was uh, right up his street. And he seems to me to be kind of the improving top horse uh, in the mile category, among the older horses anyway. In terms of a main danger or other horses, we should we should give a, a shout to for the USA audience to be paying particular attention to. Who would you want to shine a light on? Well, a couple of horses that might be running a little bit under the radar are Kudwa, also for the Crisfords. They like an international challenge, so he would be uh, potentially one that could head stateside to Del Mar in, the, um, in November. Uh, he has a very interesting profile. He's a four-year-old, four out of four. He missed uh, just under a year um, after his two wins uh, in last spring, and he's come back with two wins at Royal As uh, with, with two wins, sorry, at Ascot, including one over the straight mile. He has a really interesting, promising profile. He looks like a really uh, strong, tough horse um, for, as I say, the um, the Crisfords and ridden by Callum Shepherd. And another one I wanted to mention is Metropolitan for um, the French trainer, well, Italian, but based in France, Mario Baratti. He won the French Guineas, ran creditably. In the, um, in the St. James's Palace at Royal Ascot. Um, and he's ridden by a young promising jockey who will no doubt be hearing more of on both sides of the Atlantic. That's Alexis Pouchin, seven Group 1 wins to his name uh, this year and last year. And maybe a word also for Hatem. He won the Jersey Stakes at Royal Ascot, uh, trained by Richard Hannon. He likes to travel. Um, but that form for the Jersey Stakes hasn't quite worked out. A few horses that were in behind him have been beaten since. So um, the three-year-old's have it to prove. Uh, for me, uh, Sharon's going to be the one. I love it. Catherine, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll, we'll check in with you maybe as soon as next week because, you know, no good deed goes unpunished around here. And it was so fun talking to you. Great to have a, a correspondent to talk about these win and you're in Breeders' Cup races from France. Thanks so much for your time today. Merci. À bientôt.